So here's an example for a physical pendulum. So we have a meter stick swings about a pivot point at one end at distance h from the stick's center of mass. And we want to know what is the period of oscillation t, capital T. So for a physical pendulum like this, the period equation is given by 2 pi times the square root of i, our rotational inertia, over mgh, where h is the distance from that center of mass to the axis of rotation. So since this is a meter stick, we can model it as a rod. Um, and so the rotational inertia of a rod rotated about one end is one third ml squared. Now this, if you don't know this by heart, you can find this from the parallel axis theorem um, because we know that through the center of mass, it's 1 12th ml squared. And then the parallel axis theorem says uh, that when we rotate this about an axis that's parallel to an axis through the center of mass, that will be the um, rotational inertia through the center of mass plus that mh squared. Um, so all you have to do here is plug in 1 12th ml squared for this right here, and then you get that uh, h will be 1 half l, because this is the distance from the center of mass to that new axis of rotation if we're rotating it about the end, and then you get the common denominator, add them together, you end up getting 1 third ml squared. Okay. So if you don't re remember that one third ml squared, you can find that from the parallel axis theorem. So we're going to plug that in for our rotational inertia i, and then um, l in this case is just the length of the meter stick, which is just one meter. Um, h, of course, is going to be a half of a meter because that's going to be the distance from the center of mass, assuming that this um, you know, meter stick is uniform, then our h will be the distance from the center of mass to the end, which is just going to be half a meter. So we're going to plug that stuff in. We get period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of rotational inertia, which is 1 third ml squared over mgh, which is 1 half of l. So here, mass cancels out, one of the L's cancel out, and so we end up getting period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of 1 third L over 1 half G. And then, of course, since we have those two fractions, we can flip them and multiply. And we get period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of 2 L over 3 G. Now again, this is a meter stick, so we know L is equal to one meter. G, of course, is the acceleration of gravity on Earth, so we'll put in 9.8 meters per second squared for that. So we get 2 pi times the square root of 2 times 1 meter divided by 3 so times 9.8 meters per second squared. And so we get period is equal to... 2 divided by 3 times 9.8, and I take the square root of that number, multiply by 2 by pi, and we get about 1.64 seconds for our period of the pendulum.